welcome to the March 27th, to the March 27th, uh, 2019 meeting of Parliament. Uh, please be silent. Joshua Percy, Vote Kane, Genesis Garcia, Janelle Gomez, here. Julio Barroa, here. Bailey Rome, here. Catherine Enos, here. Lily Gallo, here. Michaela Hill, here. Alexis Polanski, here. Taylor Kutek, here. Valerie Andres, Rosalind Sibilski, here. Tamika Wardle Williams, Arthur Hatchery, here. Robert Smith, here. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the agenda? I will Ms. Eos and one from Ms. Owens. Thank you. Any discussion? <laughs> yes. um, I'd like to motion to strike. Um, part six, uh, constitutions and organizations slash conference report, turning point one from the Thank you. Any discussion? 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 Awesome. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of March? Yes, any, other any other discussion on the agenda? Any other discussions on the agenda? Sorry. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion to approve it, the minutes of March 6th. One from Ms. Gomez and one from Ms. Enos. Thank you. Uh, any discussions on that? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, just another time. I'm saying. Cool. Uh, anybody here for open forum? Anyone here for open forum? Awesome. Uh, open those announcements. Okay. Um, it's been an hectic week. Um, but um, on the table, we have a flyer for our class elections. Um, that are coming up. Um, so if you're not graduating and you're interested in that, um, or if you want to grab on your way out and pan them out, that would be much appreciated. Um, um, so checking myself here. I passed along all the resolutions that were passed in the last two meetings to Dr. Merriweather, who then forwarded them to the set of people that needed to get it. Um, the parking resolution went to Steve Netter. Um, Lunar, I promised, one went to him. And uh, President Sanchez, um, and then I think there was one more in the advertising one he brought to uh, the dean of students. Um, also, I'm currently working with a group of people that include Dr. Merriweather, um, the dean of students, um, Mike Jackalo, and a few other people to put together electronic balloting for class elections uh, through Qualtrics. Um, and the idea is to hopefully use the freshmen next year in the fall at game days to see how well it works. Um, and hopefully, um, just a short run by of it is that it's, the idea is to help improve engagement for student body. Um, I know the SEC has done surveys um, for artists and they got almost a thousand responses. We got a thousand responses for class elections that do more than we got in the last three or four years. Um, come on. <laughs> so that would be great. Um, he says that it's very possible. Um, and eventually, um, since Qualtrics is open and they can use it in college, um, they can train our vice president um, or train our officers to know how to use it so that we can create it. We choose to change the form, we can create it and give it to them to implement the private information of the students. Um, so, I'll keep you guys updated on that. That's the one thing I'm working on right now. One of the big, big ones. Um, other than that, um, <coughs> I don't believe I have anything else. Thank you for coming to the second meeting. Um, obviously, we had a constitution on the docket, which I was glad, you know, so we had this meeting. You know, have to wait till April 26th or 27th or 17th or whatever. And oh well, I tried. Um, so, I don't have any more announcements. Um, initial filing period for Parliament started on Monday. Um, my petition was in. It took me about two hours to get 55 signatures. 
And I want to applaud uh, Mr. Kane because I, I noticed his petition on the counter, um, and he got 100 signatures. Correct? Yes. 100 signatures. But he only needs 50. So I do it this I say keep going. I say keep going. See how many people you can get to sign that petition. Um, but uh, it does, it's not that hard to get a petition signed. Um, we do it in less than a couple hours. Um, highly encourage your friends to join Parliament. Um, and class elections, you can get on Parliament through that too. So keep an eye on that. Other than that, I don't have anything else. Thank you. Um, Mr. Kane. Number three is all. Uh, so I just want to start by. Uh, I was trying to change the precedent that we have been uh, continuing to oblige by, which is on a petition, you have to have a full name. I was reckoning that was kind of an arbitrary uh, rule. When I say full name, I mean as a full first name. I would reckon the last name should be there, but the full first name, let's say the name is Catherine, Nick of Catherine. I feel like if we know this, uh, the, ID, the ID number, and the last name, as well as the first name, is Catherine. You can kind of presume Catherine would be a short version of that. We could bypass the idea of invalidating that signature. Um, I will bring this to the attention of my commission on Friday. I've already scheduled a meeting for, the, for 12 o'clock p.m. on Friday, and we will converse upon this idea that uh, I kind of came up with. I, we will let you, I'll let you know the next parliamentary meeting, how that meeting went, uh, goes about. I just wanted to bring that to the body. We also had a town hall for a meeting, whatever you would like to call it, uh, yesterday, the 26th, on Tuesday, quite cold. I'm glad about the, the turnout I had. I had a couple of the executive board members, Mr. Person, and got on Ms. Gomez was there, and I appreciate it. Ms. Hurley and Mr. Audi, I'm, I'm ever obliged to you to give some coffee and, and cookies for that out there. But um, so we had a good turnout. I wanted to um, basically aggregate the data a little bit more before I, before I, uh, I continue, but I did want to point out a couple uh, concepts that were, were reoccurring. The first one I do want to point out is feminine products. That a lot of people were asking for more feminine products in the bathrooms. I was kind of taking, I was, I was kind of chagrined to know that that's not something that is widespread on the campus. I've never been on campus. That, that was not the case. So I will attempt to get that the ball moving on that idea. Another, another concept was based on the curriculum of the school. I would reckon I would bring that to the committee that will handle that as well, but that was a, another huge part, whether it be life classes, classes in like, you know, taxes, things like that. A lot of the students were saying that they, those things, since they're not taught in our uh, high schools and middle schools, they would, they would really be a lot as that was taught at our campus. I think that would be a lot step forward to help people actually adjust to the life after uh, school, which is going to be most of their life. So I would reckon that would probably be a great uh, avenue to go down as well. They were talking about a lot of resource information, so a lot of people do not have, do not know the ins and outs of the resources that we uh, inside of the school, whether it be mental health, the learning for life, things like that. So I was going to also try to push that a little further on in pricing, they said pricing, Gouging us and everything, whether it be the food or the, uh, the clothing, they, they kept uh, repeating that. And I was, I was going to go and get on those avenues as well to see at least the answers. So if somebody does bring that problem up to me again, I can give them a better reason why the pricing is set as where it is. But as I stated, or as I mentioned before I even went on that spiel, I want to aggregate this data and actually go down the list of what commission can. can um, partake with these, these concerns. And I, I shall have that done. I know by the next meeting, but I'm trying to do this by tomorrow. So if anybody has any questions, I'm in the office, four to five, almost early today. I'll be glad to answer any questions. And if you have any comments or concerns, it don't matter, I'm open for everything. You know? But um, the, I reckon that is the last, I, I of course want to have some more to get in, but I, I was rambling so hard on that, it just it slipped me. Oh yes, yes. I have. Um, I'm actually in the process of making a a, a marketing. I, I reckon I, I'm, I'm terrible at the naming this part, but it's basically like a, I don't want to say a team, 
but like, I don't want to call it a commission or a committee, but it's basically a, a group of people that will help streamline our ability to advertise. Instead of going place to place to put a, a flyer up, if this team or assembly is created with the VP of Advancement, uh, the Dean of Students, etc., um, that I feel like would lead to a little bit of ease, a little bit of ease of, of trying to advertise whatever organization of event, uh, class elections to the students um, that, that, would, that would put us in a, in a better position than we are right now with the mass confusion. That was another thing about um, confusion I kept hearing at the time. But that is the last uh, thing I can think of right now. I do appreciate y'all for listening to me speak. Point of information for the body. Right now, there is no written rule about how somebody's name is supposed to be written on a petition. Um, which, of course, when Joan tells everybody when they come in to get a petition, she just goes off of what she was told every single year by people before us. So it's just precedent that's been set by past vice presidents. There is no written rule that if I write Josh Percy, that it's in doubt. So the idea of making a decision that it should or shouldn't be in doubt should be included in the policy. So to avoid confusion for the future, I think it's a great idea. Right. Any other discussion? Thank you. Uh, Ms. Garcia, Ms. Axman, Ms. Ms. Cummings. Hi, everybody. I just want to say hi. Um, happy Wednesday night. Um, I hope that everybody is great after spring break and all that nonsense and whatnot, what have you. Um, I have really much much of nothing to say other than you saw the first of the budgeting process that is happening in front of your eyes. I signed in the unsatisfied. That one is going to be a longer one. Usually it's a more conversation. Luckily, again, transparency and all of that prevailed and made everybody not have to like, be unsatisfied. So we only have two little bad boys coming in. Other than that, I just want to thank again my finance commission for coming and being here for the <coughs> nice type of a deal. And thank the body as well for being here as well as it's mandatory. Being nice. <laughs> Other than that, uh, that's all for me, folks. Thanks. Uh, you'll hear a lot from me in a little bit, so that's my point. Awesome. Not nice, and like that, please. Uh, so I'm going to be giving Dennis' to see us again. Um, hello, Wayne's meeting for me. Uh, tonight's meeting. I think it's since Monday, and I have been having trouble breathing. Sorry for any inconvenience that this may cause. Thank you. Um, so you can watch the group. Welcome to Dino, Ms. Gomez. Thank you. Any discussions? Awesome. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Close? Abstain? Now we have one from Ms. Dino. Um, it says to Mr. Speaker and Parliament. I would like to request an early leave for the parliament meeting on uh, March 20, March 27th, as my uh, independent study is due to my advisor uh, later that night. If I could leave uh, 8.30 or 30 minutes into uh, parliament, uh, which comes first, uh, I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Um, seeking a motion to approve. I welcome Ms. Gomez, welcome Ms. Brown. Uh, any discussions? Um, Good luck. Um, all favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Staying? Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Dino. Yeah, thank you. So, Ms. Brown. Hey guys, so many of you are now from this room. My survey has been going around, up to 125 responses. So, pretty good. Yeah, we struck it. Yeah, we struck it. 
So I'm back. Um, here we are, folks. We had WSN is t-shirts. We had biology plus one on trip. We had an allocation and then two operating budgets. One from the Finance and Economics Association. They already met with me. And Visa. Visa, I believe, is the only one that needs to meet with me. Other than that, um, we've only approved about nine. I think in this in this these minutes was approved uh, nine thousand two hundred and eighty one dollars. Uh, WSI didn't ask for money. They were just refusing permission to use funds. So that was an awesome thing because we didn't give out any additional funds. Then we got reallocation. So this one was a really pretty cut and dry type of a deal. If you have any questions, let me know. If you if you think these minutes are interesting, join finance for the next year because my my seats are kind of full. But you know, next year we got. You. to hear what students have to say. 
So it sounds like a lot of you have already gotten your signatures, but maybe also if you're still collecting signatures, this is something you can work into uh, mentioning to people. Um, any help that we can get would be really appreciated. The survey is going on for another two weeks, so next week and the week after, it will still be active, and we would like a bigger response. Thank you. Well, there's 12 people, 12 students in this room, so all 12 of us should take it, so there should be 12 <laughs> well, responses, hopefully, with students. Um, hopefully yeah, if you can encourage your friends yeah. to take it yeah. too, that would be great. Uh, I myself serve on the committee with. Um, you will see more propaganda for the, uh, for the survey coming soon. This morning, I was here with the early Uh, she doesn't love it anymore. She's, 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 she
for pushing them to hear this. Like, man, this is the only you could be here too. <laughs> uh, there's two more meetings left, so if you guys want to come back next year, if you aren't graduating, I do recommend you to come over again next year. Get all your friends or your bunch of friends like I had in college, and then get into drawing. But like, this is it, guys. There's no one else. Like, uh, this is it. There's two more meetings left. Come back. Plan for next year. Do great things. Who's going to be our alumni next year? I hope you graduate. I don't know. Wow. Ah. Rick doesn't let anyone go. Wow. Ah. I'm happy to be here right now. In two years. In two years. You come back? All right, we got you on the stage. I mean, the trip to home back is only going to be some 17 pounds.
it, Derek had no idea that he was getting problems. And then the expulsion was I sent out three emails to Haley Johnson and Derek Sherlock from the Elections Commission. To their, uh, they never, I sent them three emails asking them to come into the office and learn what you're supposed to do. None of them showed up, none of them answered. So they, three chances, three strikes are out. Um, so they are, they are expelled from the uh, Elections Commission, which was. Um, the three non parliament spots. We have three parliament spots already filled. Which is some of Mr. Kane is not on his own. Um, but other than that, I'm not really going to bother anyone with what we had and don't have open since there's only two meetings left. Um, if those who have just joined parliament would like to volunteer for some committees, um, we can do so. I will not stop you. Um, I would highly suggest maybe looking into one, maybe trying it out for the next month um, to see what it's like. Um, other than that, those I ask that those be uh, accepted unanimously. Second. Um, other than that, uh, I don't have anything else. Thank you. Uh, issues of problem. Go ahead, go ahead, issues. So, Here's the thing. Uh, I have taken pretty much every class in the photography department in the in the art department. So records, <laughs> so records immediately thought that I was also a photography student. So they added to my to my transcript. They added that I am a bachelor's of arts photography student. So because of that, they added like seven more requirements to my to my records. And when I went to when I went to my advisor, he's like. You're missing this amount of classes. Why is that? And I was just like, wait, I'm not this. I'm not a photography major. So that is my story. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go fix that. Um, it's an easy fix. Yeah, they. I can tell you how to do it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but that's. that's it. <laughs> when I went to graduate, it turned out records had made me a declared history major, <laughs> and you had the opposite. today and it was like you have to go to records because you're the ones that have to fix that and I was just like but I never said that I was a photographer student. I'm just making the classes. Y'all assume it. Yeah. Like, did you just assume my major? That's all it goes. Anybody else have any issues for a problem? <laughs> if not, seek a motion to adjourn.